Okay, so uh, I start from a real quadratic field. Um. Um. So I have a rational numbers and I have f, that is q square root of b or something, b integer positive. And then I have a gala representation. So I take rho bar, that is an induced representation from the gala group over f to gala group over q of a character phi bar, having values in, in the p field. <coughs> to the finite extension of f uh, cross, but actually, for simplicity, um, I assume that f is just equal to fp, so this is fp cross, uh, and then I have a time lift, zp cross into it. And that I write just far. And um, so I have a splitting field of this f rho bar. So often I just write this induced representation, the Artin representation, corresponding to this phi as rho, so that the same splitting field it has. And then I take um, um, fp of rho bar, so that is max p pro finite ramified only at p extension. And I would write the Gerard group from the top as d, so the index 2 subgroup here is h. OK, so I will do the deformation over this uh, group G and H, and I suppose actually a fix, so the P is supposed to, I'm a very ordinary mathematician, so I love to be ordinary, and therefore P split into two pieces. So the sigma is a Galois element here, but sigma acts non-trivially on this quadratic field, and so, there's a, so I fix this guy, And also, I fix one embedding of f into real number. This is also a fix. I just write conductor of this character phi to be the Gothic C and uh, infinity. And I suppose it is made of split plans. So O is an integer ring. of f, and um, also I, I want to suppose that it is prime to p gothic, gothic p conjugate. Okay. Under this kind of circumstances, I also, it is about uh, almost all primes splitting in this um, field f, so I just assume that p doesn't divide the class number of f, Cross number of splitting field of phi minus. Phi minus is an anti cyclotomic projection. So phi minus is phi, phi, sigma inverse, phi, sigma tau, is phi, sigma tau, sigma inverse, something like that. Okay? So this is the kind of assumptions I make. Uh, then I have a deformation ring, so T and rho T is a universal guy, so universal, ordinary, uh, Galois deformation ring. With universal representation rho T uh, of this rho bar. And uh, the formation I make over this group G, so it's fairly small, so it's a minimum uh, deformation. Okay, so this is actually 
a hex algebra, I mean, it's a local link of the hex algebra. So it is, it is um, algebra free of finite rank over the cell algebra, weighted the cell algebra, so it's a variable t. And I suppose that this is rank E over lambda. Okay. Um, the, as you know, Roba is an induced representation, so you pick a quadratic residue symbol. Um, then you tensor chi with rho, rho bar, then it is isomorphic to rho bar, as you know. Uh, that characterizes the induced representation. And therefore, you make a rho t tensor product with universal guy. It st still remains to be a um, deformation of a rho bar. So you have a by universality, you have an automorphism iota of ring, universal ring t. So the iota acting on it, it's a involution, obviously, chi square is one. And um, I, I usually write t plus for the subring uh, fixed by this iota. Okay? So this is still free of finite rank half of e. So e is an even number. Okay, so what I my goal of this talk My goal of this talk is just to prove a fact the T is a small fake to lambda square root of bracket epsilon minus one. Uh, the epsilon is a fundamental unit, so the plus minus e to the z is just an O cross. And I just write lowercase t1 plus t, the unit in lambda. And uh, the, the bracket epsilon is t to the log your cell log of epsilon over log p1 plus p. Oh, I forgot to say that p is bigger than or equal to 5. Okay. Uh, there's a one more condition to have. Uh, to have this kind of deformation ring, I suppose that phi minus restricted to the decomposition group has all the bigger than two and globally phi bar has all the bigger than three. Okay? This condition is technical uh, in the sense that if it is two, I mean, if it is one, you don't have a, uh, it's a reducible case, a Eisenstein case. And if it is two, you could have, write down this row bar as an induced representation from other, other quadratic field, and it makes things quite bad. So I just assume this. Okay, under this kind of assumption, I try to show this. And uh, one, one application is that the, for example, you take a Selman group over a Q of a joint representation of rho t. Okay. This is, a, for example, Greenberg Selman group. And you take its Pontryagin in dual. Then um, this is isomorphic to lambda I call epsilon, that is lambda modulo epsilon minus one, something like that. This is a out of by, by a theorem of omega, this is just a omega t over lambda. And you know what it is, you can compute this. And um, so this is sort of omega theorem. So you get this. Um, so uh, one remark is that, so if you write order p, Gothic p order of epsilon to the p minus one minus one, to be some integer m that is bigger than one, um, then then this this idea of epsilon minus one is t to the p to the m minus one minus one. So this is divisible by 
capital T. Okay, so it's all the time non trivial. And another point is that this is cyclotomic polynomial, root is p power root of unity, so it's square free. I think this is the unique case we know that the Selma group characteristic polynomial, not just cyclic, but uh, it's um, semi simple, so to speak, no, no multiple roots. And this is another point is that this highly depends on the real quadratic field, but almost independent of this phi bar, the character. Okay? Can I ask, though, what weight is, when you specialize that T, what weight does that correspond to? Wait one. Wait one. That, that this induced law you get. Okay, so um, then uh, I, I recall something I did a um, while ago that uh, sort of the paper cyclicity of a joint. Thermal group and fundamental unit. I wrote a paper a couple of years ago. Uh, this is a poster on the web on my, my home page. So you can take a look. And what I did in this paper is that the following things I have shown. Okay, so it's a, I call presentation theorem. So DDT has a presentation of lambda one variable power series one more, so it's a entirely two variable, modulo a power series S, and you can lift, can lift the involution iota of T to an involution iota infinity of lambda double bracket x. And um, uh, the, the iota infinity acts on x by minus. Iota infinity acts on s by plus. OK, so um, actually s is a power series of t square, uh, x squared. All right, so this is what I proved in that Paper. And this result will actually tell you that this is also uh, the Selma group of a Q of induced representation F. So a joint of induced representation F over Q of universal character phi. Phi is a chapter phi is a universal character deforming uh, the phi bar into Zp, so the Galois group of this kind of things is all P cross, you need to take a P part, uh, or P cross, you model out the epsilon to the Z closure, plus minus, but I will anyway take Zp quotient, <laughs> and that, that is obviously lambda epsilon cross. This is the universal character, only ramified at half of this Gothic C and um, uh, half Gothic P also, possibly. And uh, uh, that's um, something like that. And, and uh, this theorem tells you that this is isomorphic to omega t over t plus tensor t over i, what i is, I, t over i is the maximal quotient on which iota acts trivial. So this is t modulo t iota minus 1t. So that's the definition of i. And on which, actually this, this is universal induced representation. So it has to be come from the universal character. So this, this quotient is lambda epsilon. And uh, the, 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 the low t modulo this i is induced representation of capital phi. Okay, so low t mod i is induced <coughs> fq capital phi. Okay, so uh, this is the setting I found 
um, long ago, not long, but a uh, little ago. Okay, so now I'm going back to good old days of German mathematics. I just apply virus preparation theorem because this is free of finite rank E over lambda. So you can write down S as X as a product of distinguished polynomial monic. And the unit power series. So this is by a stress. Okay? But um, on the other hand, on the other hand, you know, uh, by this presentation, by this presentation, <coughs> x goes down to, I think, it's theta equivalent, and uh, um, x squared goes down, down to um, theta squared. So I call it lowercase theta, theta squared. So this comes from x squared, and obviously t is lambda generated by capital theta because of this presentation. And this theta is the root of this distinguished polynomial. Okay, so d has a degree e. Okay, and uh, t plus is therefore lambda of lower case theta, something like that. So. I just like to say that this collapse into lambda. Yeah. All right. Then, um, so the i is therefore generated by capital theta, right? Because theta is the element on which iota acts on minus one. And therefore, Lambda double bracket x modulo uh, x and s is. Um, Can you do it below the shadow? Oh, there's a shadow. Oh, okay. Is it wrong? Yeah. It's fine. Okay. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm quite in the shadow. Okay, <laughs> um, so then this is lambda modulo S naught, and uh, this is, on the other hand, this is T over theta, so this is lambda epsilon, so it's lambda epsilon minus one, like I said. So S naught is, you can assume just by adjusting by unit, is just uh, epsilon minus one. As I remarked, this is square free. Okay. Now, I plug in zero here. The node u naught is s naught, so that is epsilon minus 1. Therefore, again adjusting s by u naught inverse, this is a unit, I can assume that d naught is epsilon minus 1. Okay. I can do this virus rust preparation business over lambda p r, I think I apply capital P dividing this D naught, so epsilon minus one, height one prime, so prime divisor. Then uh, I com make a localization and a completion and do the wire stress preparation theorem again under these circumstances. I get a decomposition of SX into DPX and UPX. Now, 
This guy is a unit in lambda p hat double bracket x. But as you know, this is a monic distinguished. It's unique uh, for any way you make a virus preparation theorem. So the d is equal to dp for any capital P dividing epsilon minus 1. So it's a nice Eisenstein polynomial because this bracket epsilon minus 1 is square free. Okay? So I get the following theorem. Yeah, just hold the other board. All right, so I get the following irreducibility theorem. <coughs> T is integral domain, normal integral domain. at every capital P dividing epsilon minus 1. And if E is 2, you get T is lambda essentially square root of epsilon minus 1. So I need to show this. Okay, so that's something I try. Okay, by the way, as I said, when this order, I, might, I haven't erased anything, I just wrote the order of this, uh, the, the epsilon to the p minus 1, order gothic p to the m, and this kind of prime, so m, if m is kind of bigger than 2, this kind of prime is called wall sansan prime. It is something uh, analytic number series. Sansan is a twin Chinese brothers. And um, um, uh, they wanted to show counter example of Fermat's last theorem. And uh, if Fermat's last theorem fails, they do it over a curative scale of five. Fermat's last theorem fails, uh, then it has to be worse than some prime. And uh, so for analytic number theory, this is something slightly interesting. And uh, um, as you know, as I said, this epsilon bracket minus one is just capital P when M is one. Therefore, Under this setting, T is regular, factorial, if one only if M is 1. Otherwise, we have ambiguous process. And uh, that is not more some sort of right. OK, and they, they computed, uh, people computed this uh, more some some primes. And, um, um, Yeah. Um, no more some some primes. But everybody knows that Fermat's last theorem is two. And so uh, no more some some less than. Of course, it's not a if and only if thing. So even though Fermat's last theorem fails, uh, uh, it could you could have a more some some prime. Uh, for example, if you do this for q square root of 10, then there's an example p is 191 and 693 and then 6 digit die or something like that. Uh, this analytic number theorem is conjecture that there's a perhaps density zero but infinitely many such points. Okay? So the, 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 this factorial property, regularity, comes from vanishing of certain H2, right? So uh, H2 vanishes most of the times. So that's kind of natural.
Okay, so that's kind of running a lot. And um, um, so I just really try to prove this E equal to two. I don't try to prove the length of T plus is one, but I rather like to try to uh, prove um, the uh, ramification index is two at that induced point. Okay, so I use theory of Belaich, Chenevier. Uh, everybody knows so I put them into the shade. Can you write outside of the shade? <laughs> As I told you that Belaich, Chenevier, everybody knows, so I put it in the shade. <laughs> So you, 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 you now out of the shadow, uh, you, have, uh, you have a pseudo character of dimension two deforming. Uh, so I have I have phi plus phi inner conjugate sigma is a pseudo character residual, right? So you have a deformation of this, and uh, you assume that d d d is dimension two, and t two you have of course is the trace, so it is. And you have T3, I don't write it, write it down, but it is a six-term identity. You have all possibility of this kind of product, zero thing. Uh, and uh, I add one more thing, is that that T, I consider this kind of function T from your group algebra. So it's from A is a ring, and A is H into A is a commutative ring whose residue, a local ring whose residue field is FP. And uh, that T is half of uh, T of outside square, uh, inside square thing. And this, I suppose this is multiplicative. Multiplicative. OK. And um, uh, they sort of studied the um, slightly general. So this kind of pseudo character may not lift to the real two-dimensional representation into GL2 of A, but uh, it would lift to sort of GMA, uh, generalized matrix algebra. So A, generalized matrix algebra, is something like A here, A here, B and C, B, C, A modules, and you, you have a product B tensor A, C into A, and C tensor A, B into A, so that usual matrix products makes this an algebra over A. So that is called uh, a generalized matrix algebra. Of course, this product has to satisfy certain axiom to guarantee that is associativity and so on. But that then um, recently, um, so again, uh, the Preston Wake and uh, uh, one Ericsson considered ordinary sort of version of this kind of uh, KD Hamilton representation. KD Hamilton representation means that it's just a representation of, say, a H into this GMA, I call it E, E cross, such that it satisfies characteristic polynomial, so rho, R square minus T R row R plus that T of R is zero or something. Then we call it K Hamilton. Okay? And um, uh, they studied, so I put their names in the shadow, um, the And wake, and there's a universal pair, uh, 
ordinary and E ordinary. This is uh, R ordinary, uh, B ordinary, C ordinary, R ordinary, something like that. And um, uh, then you have a universal representation, uh, R ordinary uh, H into uh, this E ordinary cross, uh, which satisfies the obvious universal property. Here, ordinality is that on the decomposition group, you have two things. I mean, these guys consider the one case and over Q, but you can do it, of course, over any field. And uh, it, it, it has to be upper triangular for D goes to P and lower triangular for D goes to P sigma and upper mirabolic over inertia, lower mirabolic. This is my ordinality condition. Okay? Uh, 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 if you make it all up a triangular, it's a different problem uh, 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 because it's a reducible case, and I need to choose this way. Okay? Then, um, so you have a universal guy there, and um, um, now uh, by the right Chenevier, the you have an ideal of reducibility means that it is a minimal sort of ideal. You take module of uh, this J, this becomes reducible in the sense that these two guys of diagonal guys becomes character. Okay, and then obviously the product of this has to be zero. Right? So therefore, J is the actually the image of B or tensor C or over R or in R or. Then you get a universal reducible people, <coughs> R red, that is R or over J, E or E red. That is E R over J and rho red, that is rho R modulo J. And this is universal among reducible guys. Okay. Then you know the character. So this E R I just write down as a diagonal R red, R red, B red. Tensor product of B red, C red with the, the, the product map is a zero map, but these guys could survive, okay? And uh, uh, the character, I mean, this character having this is the universal among, among uh, the, the character deforming phi, so therefore, this, this character rho one one red has to be phi. Rho 2 to red has to be phi conjugate inside. Okay, so um, I'll pass and make it up. <laughs> then um, you, you have, therefore, this reducible universal guy. And phi, phi sigma, and something here, something there. But this guy will govern the extension of phi by phi sigma, right? Therefore, it is governed by homomorphism from a Galois group into uh, this guy. And that Galois group here is something like you have f. You have f, f phi minus, because this guy divided by that is phi minus. And then, um, 
Then uh, you have uh, a gothic P only gothic P ramified and uh, P sigma totally split. Okay, that kind of gamma group, and this gamma group I just write y, y, and then I just write y phi minus the phi minus branch of this y. Then it's kind of obvious you get a y phi minus here, it's conjugate, so sigma y phi minus sigma inverse is there. So you get an explicit um, form of this reducible guy. And one more thing is that, uh, as I said, Selma group of adjoint, indu adjoint induce of capital phi is again lambda epsilon. So this is, this is isomorphic to lambda epsilon. So this is a result of my own paper I quoted. Okay, so this is cyclic over lambda, and cyclic, therefore, over R red. Okay, so this is the same. So it looks like two by two matrix of lambda epsilon, but product is zero by So be careful about it. Okay. Then, so I, 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 I determined now, the um, reducible quotient So I try now understand the uh, original ordinary guy, universal ordinary K Hamilton and um, So it goes something like that. It's very easy to prove. So you know, you, you, you have uh, this uh, ord and you have a uh, t, right? You, you have a uh, deformation here. You restrict it to h and take, say, trace, right? This you have therefore dual map because this is a universal object. Okay. Actually, you can easily show that this factor is root t plus, and also easy to show that this is on two. Okay. Uh, this I use this presentation. That's important for me to show on two s. But once you get a presentation, it's trivial. Okay. Then, as you know. That uh, my claim is that this uh, or this, this this map is an isomorphism. Okay? So um, I just draw the picture, uh, draw the diagram. <coughs> but the point here is that our old tensor, uh, no, B or B or you model out. B old, you get a B red, and that is a cyclic. So, B old is cyclic over R old. Same C old is cyclic over R old. Therefore, B old tensor C old over R old. It's a depth down J, but these two are the cyclic modules, so this is cyclic. Okay, so this is a principal idea. Okay, so I draw the picture, uh, diagram, our old module, this principal idea. So this is our red. As I told you, this is lambda epsilon. I have this map, T plus, you remember? lambda t plus t. So I have ideal i generated by capital theta. So it's intersection with t plus i plus, it is generated by theta. And this is fully ramified. And therefore, t plus modulo i plus 
generated by theta is also run by epsilon. And it's all two, so it is a nice morphism. Okay? Then, because theta, this lower case theta uh, by heck algebra thing, I know that is a non zero divisor. Therefore, you multiply by theta to the n, I get i plus n over i plus n plus 1. Here, you can do the same thing uh, j or n, j n plus 1. <coughs> Uh, eta to the n, and by surjectivity, this is surjective, this is surjective, this side, because it's a non zero divisor, all isomorphism, uh, this upper corner, so this bottom corner is also isomorphism. I get Jn over Jn plus 1, it's isomorphic to i plus n, i plus n plus 1, and therefore I get d plus is isomorphic to uh, r odd. This actually I conjectured in a very different form as uh, in terms of L values, uh, joint L values, in, in, in long ago uh, in a paper of Doi and Ishi in Menciones. Uh, so I, I, I sort of proved as rightly this kind. All right, so the ordinary guy, as I told you, that it is R or E or E or uh, B or B or the modulo J is cyclic. Then by Nakayama, this is cyclic. So R uh, or modulo some idea. So this is same way here, R uh, or. On the other hand, I have this row t originally having values in g and to t, but you restrict it in h. Then by sort of conjugation, sort of co-cycle calculation you do, you can make it having values in t plus, t minus, that is theta times t plus, t minus, t plus. It has values in, so 8 goes into, goes into this one. This is, of course, obviously Cayley Hamilton representation. All right? And, and so this guy covers this by uh, universality, subjective. And uh, theta is non zero divisor free of rank 1t plus, but I have proved that this is uh, old. So this map is isomorphic, A is zero. So this is the universal guy. So this is E part. That's what I get. Okay. Um, one more thing I need to show is that rho t, you restrict it in inertial group at p inside uh, the Galois group of f rho t, splitting field of this guy, f rho bar. So this is a p profinite guy. Okay, and you can easily show. Uh, actually, in my paper in Composition 2015, I have basically shown that this has a form t to the zp, 0, 1, and some ideal here, non zero. Uh, non zero comes from the result of Jalvin. Um, so it's intercomposability local. And uh, the point here is that if this guy 
modulo or maximal idea of t vanishes, then it, this guy, of course, factors through y of phi minus. So it is unramified outside p. Right? And it vanishes modulo or maximal idea. It's unramified everywhere, but it's non trivial because it factors through Galois group. So p divides hf phi minus will be a 3. But this is, I suppose that p doesn't divide hf phi minus. So what I'm saying <coughs> is that this square is actually theta times Iwasawa algebra. This is rank 1 over Iwasawa algebra is a local Iwasawa theory. Iwasawa proved in his famous paper about the extensions and others. So it is rank 1 like that. So this tells you that for any cast form of weight 2, well, bigger. And if its Galois representation is induced representation of a maximum idea, then this, this guy modulo the prime corresponding to this f doesn't vanish because this is concentrated at the weight one. Okay, so this, this rho f is locally decomposable. Uh, you can do also imaginary quadratic version, and uh, Van Erickson and uh, Francis Castilla told me that they also did that. And so um, this kind of result is not so hard anyway. It, it, it's basically independent of uh, what I said, but this one I need for my proof. Okay, so this tells you, this is almost an end, that a year earlier, a couple of years earlier, um, Uh, Bettina Adel uh, found a criterion. So you consider now I am uh, the weight space of um, rigid analytic weight space. You have an I am curve of Coleman measure, and uh, you have a point, say P, of this induced representation FQ. Of phi at representation. And uh, they, they, this guy studied the ramification index, and he had a criterion to show that the ramification index is 2. But um, uh, his criterion is very hard to verify. Um, it, criterion is a nice criterion, but uh, um, I don't think he verified in any case. Uh, but anyway, I'll tell you what it is. So you take, you take F phi minus, and then you take uh, the maximal extension and ramified outside and P max, PR median, and ramified outside cos p and do the same thing in p sigma. You make a composite. And then you have inside the ZP, multiple ZP extension here. Uh, ZP to the sum power S. So I have this F phi minus and um, infinity, then he considered error infinity everywhere <coughs> and ramified P abelian extension. So you have a big Galois group X and uh, you have Q. So you can make a quotient, so to speak, chi augmentation quotient that gives rise to some field perhaps here. And uh, he, he wanted to have this guy to be to be a billion over essentially f phi minus. Then he is two. He uses um, the 
pursued, not pursued the Kell Arcta, but why is it pursued representation? But pursued the Kell Arcta of T1 to T4, unique T4, uh, the, the, is equivalent to why is pseudo representation. And I know that this row T restricted H is universal, KB Hamilton. So every pseudo, why is pseudo character also factor through trace of this guy? Therefore, I, his, his, his stuff is just a computation of tangent vector at this weight space, it's weight one space, and over this, and he computes tangent space of this, and why is pseudo uh, representation theory? This tangent space collapse, so that is equal to the localization, infinitesimal localization is just a W localized. That's what he's proved under his criteria. But I could change everything here to something inside of. So I, I have an infinity uh, and an infinity kind of things. I can basically intersect it with. F row T. Because all the pseudo representation factors through this guy. And the gamma group of row T over gamma group of uh, F row bar say is in GL2 of T. And up to a very young factor, you forget about it you can intercept it in SL2T. So I take this is G prime, and I just take intersection, this one, and that is, I call it G. Then there's a theory by Richard Pink. He classified all, this is P finite. Yeah, it is over by bar. He classified all P finite cross some group of this one. And I know inertia basically have unipotent guy, really big. Huh? So I apply, so I, I don't actually take really an intersection, but um, I need to modify Bettina's argument quite, but uh, anyway, I got the idea from him. And um, um, so what I do, I have five minutes left. So um, what I do is <coughs> to consider this, everything I do with over M of T. And inside I have M infinity and F say phi minus. This is max multiple ZP extension inside and corresponding L infinity uh, the max every fire ramified uh, P abelian extension and I can determine the Gawa group very explicitly, all of them. And then I do his business, I get E is 2. And that's the end of the story. Uh, imaginary case is more technical, <coughs> and, uh, because it has a very big CM quotient, uh, and it's not like the epsilon kind of small ring. So it's more technical, but it's also you can do basically this type of argument. I have a corresponding result. But uh, anyway, uh, if I have some opportunity, I will explain what's the case sometime. But uh, uh, the real case is easier, but so it's almost consumed one now. So that's, that's perhaps sufficient. Thank you.